We bring in David Waldstein, who is the Yankees beat writer for the New York Times. David, thanks for taking the time today. You got it. How you doing? Yeah, we're doing well, thanks. Uh, just kind of keeping an eye on the Toronto Blue Jays and all the injuries they've had and kind of watching them play out the rest of the season. Uh, for the New York Yankees, it looks like another run to the postseason, but is there any uh, fear of the rearview mirror in looking at the Tampa Bay Rays? I think without a doubt, but if you look at the standings, it's the, also the Baltimore Orioles who moved past the Rays uh, and last night, and they're only three and a half out. So uh, it's, a, uh, it, it's a lot closer than anybody would have thought, and the Yankees have had a ton of injuries. They haven't played. They haven't dominated the way they did in June, and um, I'll tell you what, last night was a really, really uh, significant game because – they lost to Shara for at least a week, maybe two. And uh, Soriano, that was an uncharacteristic uh, uh, event for him last night, giving up that bomb to Rasmus. So, obviously, you know, I think there is. I, I think players, players seem to be taking it with, with relative calm, but, but the manager has been a little bit uh, on edge, I'd say, in the last couple of weeks. David Waldstein, the Yankees beat writer for the New York Times. And it's funny, you mentioned the Baltimore Orioles, and yes, obviously ahead of Tampa now, but I still am having a hard time believing, even this late in the year, that the Orioles are in some sort of contention. My mind immediately goes to Tampa and, and thinking about their pitching staff, thinking that they're going to be the next closest competitor. But there you have the Baltimore Orioles. I mean, are you at this point a believer in the Orioles? I mean, is anybody at this point really? Are you even allowed to be a believer in the <laughs> Orioles? Can you get fired for that, being the Yankees beat writer, if you say you believe in another team? I've heard worse. So. Oh, yeah. I'm allowed to say that. I, I believe – I'll tell you what I believe in. If, if, the, uh, if the Yankees make the postseason, they're just one of numerous, numerous teams that have a chance and could easily get bounced in the first round. So – uh, I, 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 I mean, I don't know. If I, that differs from what anybody else thinks. Is, is there anybody out there that's like, oh, this team's going to win the World Series? I, I don't think there is. So it's going to be just sort of a wide open tournament once that happens. As for the Orioles, um, I believe that they're within striking distance uh, going into the last few days of August. So, uh, you know, which is obvious. And, and it, it, it's not that much longer uh, left. There isn't that much more time left in the season for them to blow it. So I think they kind of believe in themselves, and I think they're going to be there. Oh, there's always time. When I say, when I, when I say they're going to be there, I mean, you know, that if, if they're within three games in the last week, that qualifies as being there. We're on the horn here with uh, David Waldstein of the New York Times, the beat writer for the Yankees. And, David, sir, there is always time to blow it with this kind of contention. <laughs> Uh, with this many teams. One of the things we haven't talked about here, when we look in the rearview mirror of those individuals that are chasing the Yankees, I wonder if, like, in the rearview mirror somewhere, mixed in between the Rays and the Orioles, if um, Dr. Andrews is standing there, or just Father Time himself is chasing them with the hourglass. Because I look at this team, and, you know, I've been all over them for this. They are such an older team. And I I feel like you're going to see age really play a factor as it gets down to the wire and we start to creep into October and you know how those old joints do when the weather <laughs> starts to turn cold again I mean, do you see this team do you see age or injury becoming a serious factor well I agree I think it already has I mean look at what you know you look around and you got Jeter's 38 Abanez is playing a regular role he's 40 uh, Andrew Jones what 36 I think um, you got uh, um, uh, Ichiro, who's 38 also, and uh, Kuroda, 37, I believe. Um, you know, the, the guy who's already on the uh, out for the season, the closer, Rivera, 42. I mean, this is, uh, you're right, it's a, a, one of the oldest teams probably in, in history uh, in terms of, you know, players that are contributing. You look around, as there aren't those young guys, you know, it's Cano and, and, you know, some of the, the relievers uh, <laughs> that are that are the young players on this team. So, yeah, I think it is a factor. I, well, think, I think it has already cropped up. I'm glad that you bring that up because one of the things that I've been contesting here is that, yeah, everyone looks at the, the Oakland team and you look at the 
the Rays and you look at the, the, the Orioles, especially the Orioles because they're in the same division, but you, you see these and you're saying, oh, it's just a matter of time before they implode. But, I mean, I feel like there are several teams, and the Yankees are one of them, that are they're kind of on a, a balancing act, like a, a tightrope right now, but they're facing not so much the other division as so much as they're facing age, and that could, you know, that could really hamstring them at any time. That's just my I that is me. I could be wrong. There's gonna be a million Yankee fans that are mad at me for calling those players old, but they are, darn it. Yeah, so. they are. They they are. It's and it's and it's uh it's sure to be a factor. Now David, uh, when I look at this Yankees team and you know, Brian Cashman has always done a good job at adding secondary pieces. There is still some time here before the uh, the the deadline to acquire players and have them on your playoff roster. With what's happened to Teixeira, do you see any more moves being made here? Um, you know, he will he will look without a doubt, um, but he's not. You know, it, it's, uh, there's nothing significant, I don't think, on the on the horizon because. Uh, you're not going to give up anything good to get a player that you might only need for a week. I mean, to share is going to, you know, a week, maybe two. So, uh, theoretically, you're also getting Alex Rodriguez back. My, my question about Rodriguez is he's been out for so long. You need time to, to get used to facing live pitching and get your rhythm and timing back. And as with last year, I don't know if he's going to have enough time for that. Yeah, no question. It's it's going to be a fascinating story to watch, especially with both. Now Baltimore just won't go away from the conversation. You've got Tampa with that pitching staff. And then, of course, the Yankees uh, through this all and all the injuries and whatever else uh, continuing to lead the way. Uh, David, uh, thanks so much uh, for taking the time today. Anytime. Thank you.